Today we're back on the MX-5 and we're going to sort out a really common problem which is the little T-pieced outlet pipe on the bottom of the thermostat housing, mild steel, rusts away to nothing, especially if it hasn't had the correct antifreeze in it, you get water leaks, uh, car could potentially overheat, it's hidden behind the air intake track so you might not see it but uh, as you can see this one is totally disintegrated. You can buy a new thermostat housing, they're about 70 quid. But, as usual, we're going to do it on the cheap. Uh, we're going to use a couple of little brass fittings. We're going to tap the housing, put that in there, and then make a new T-piece with that. These cost a couple of quid each, um, so it's quite a saving. And we're going to see if we can do it in situ as well. So we've got the hole cleaned out. What we're going to use to replace the pipe, the outlet pipe, is a 1 8 BSP tailpiece. Air lines, water lines, hydraulics, that sort of stuff. Uh, that's the 1 8 thread and that's 5 16 which is around 8 9 mil, so it's perfect for the hoses we've got. But to get that to fit, we've got to use a 1 8 BSP tap. Uh, Imperial taps aren't as common as they used to be and they're quite expensive so if you can find a metric alternative do that. 8.5mm drill which is very close to the 11.32 drill that you're meant to use for these 1 8 taps. Um, once it's wiggled about you know but just to clean the hole up we ran it through with a 8.5 reamer. All bits and bobs that you might have lying around probably won't, but you'll find them at boot sales and junk shops and no one wants them anymore, they're great. The big problem was we couldn't get power tools in there. This is a UNOS, so it's got a power steering pump. There was no room to get a power tool in, so we've done it all by hand. It's only soft alloy, it is possible, you just gotta persevere. I know it would have been easier on the bench and it would have been easier to strip it off, but I'm just trying to see if I can do it. Right, that took ages. Um, this material is really hard to cut. If you don't get the tap dead straight, it just wrecks it, pulls it all out. So we've done it. So what we're going to do now is put that towel piece in with a bit of thread lock, which will keep it nice and tight and also help to seal it. That's come from all right. Um, nice and tight. Hoping it's going to be watertight, of course. Uh, now I'm just going to make the new T-piece. Right, so all that's left to do is put the T-piece in. These are the two pipes. 
this one would have come up from the underneath and this one comes onto that junction there but what I'm going to use is a brass T piece so that's going to go into there and that's going to push this pipe back quite a bit so what I'm going to do I think is get that up there and what I'm going to do with this top one I think I'm going to bring it on on the top like that so we're going to turn the T piece upside down and it saves that pipe being pushed onto the pulley right So that's all back together, neat repair. The extra length created by the T-piece uh, created a bit of an extra length in the hose, the original hose. Rather than cut the hose, I sort of wanted to see what would happen. And uh, the inlet tractor has actually pushed it back out of the way and it keeps it in place, as it probably did the original, to be honest. So really pleased with that. All we've got left to do now is to run it up to temperature, make sure it doesn't leak, but it's looking good. And we've saved ourselves about 70 pounds. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to like, comment and subscribe to the channel and we'll see you next time.